Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the replay. Swipe to the right on Apple from the bottom to the top on Android. Welcome, 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 everybody on Meerkat. Let's see. Let's get the Meerkat of folks together. All right, Meerkat, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, operating remotely this morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Let's turn the screen around. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's share. You know how we do it here. You know how the party, how the party goes here at the at the at the uh, the money game. Welcome, welcome, Sister Candace. Welcome. Share, 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 brother. This is the share, share, share. Uh, we're gonna get started in about a minute or so. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. All right, looking down here at the meerkatters. Excuse me, I'm out and about today. Out, uh, you know, uh, just out making things happen, brothers and sisters. Out. Meeting with folks and out, out shaking hands and, and what they say, rubbing elbows and things of that nature. Because that's what's required to win at the money game. All right. Uh, there's time when you're in the locker room and there's time when you're on the practice field. And then there's time to actually play the game, play the game. All right. And if you're not out there in the public, out there in full engagement, then you're not playing the game. Right. You're practicing, you're getting ready. But you're not really playing the game. Oh boy, Meerkat's having some trouble here staying connected. Let's try it again for Meerkatters, okay? All right, so today, brothers and sisters, today is Q&A. Everything about money, question and answer here at The Money Game. This is where we uh, share with you the things that I've learned over my 30-year career of entrepreneurship, of business, of sales, of marketing, of real estate investing, being a stockbroker. Uh, I just want to share with you those nuggets that I've uh, I've learned and used uh, over the past 30 years that has uh, really blessed me and my family uh, beyond measures. All right, Un unbelievably. Okay, so get ready for your questions. We're going to start in about one minute. We want to give you guys time to share and get to join us to share and to join us let's turn meerkat around all right all right all right meerkatters let me see if i can raise you up a little bit i did didn't want to okay well that might work i can still say hey boss man how you doing is this your first time joining us on this scope please put new n-e-w new and share 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 we want to um we want to uh double and triple the count within the next minute we have one minute to go hey boss thank you thank you boss man new uh, where are you from? Put in there where are you from. Okay. All right. If you want to know about the money game, brothers and sisters, that's why I'm here. You saw the hashtags. Make no bones about it. All right. Texas in the house. Hashtag black wealth. Hashtag black dollar. Hashtag black economy. That's what time it is. That's where we are uh, as a people. That's where we are in our community. It's time for not getting money. It's about economic empowerment, self-sufficiency being sovereign okay these are the things that uh, yes sir absolutely these are the things that we have to understand we have to up our game we have to mature in our understanding and our level of commitment towards uh, uh, financial empowerment all right so that's what oh boy this meerkat is having some some challenges let's see so go ahead and share brothers and sisters go ahead and share 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 we're gonna get started here all right, we're going to get started here in the next uh, 30 seconds. I don't know why Meerkat's having problems staying connected. Hey, thanks, boss man, for, for sharing with your followers. You're brand new and you're already inviting your followers. So I really, really appreciate it. We're doing everything we can to get this word out. All right, we're doing everything to get this word out. So help us to get this word out. Trying to get this thing propped up here. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, everybody. For those who don't know me, my name is Daryl Muhammad. Uh, 30 years of entrepreneurship, uh, real estate investor, former uh, stockbroker on Wall Street, uh, you name it, network marketer, online, offline sales and marketing. Been trained by some of the best in the industry, brothers and sisters, and everybody doesn't have that opportunity. I know that, especially in our community. And that's why I wanted to come and share with you guys as much as I can uh, of the different areas. Hey, how you doing, Britain? Uh, so all I can uh, share with you from the, my experience over the last 30, 30 years. Welcome, you guys. Go ahead and share, share, share. 
share, share, share. This is definitely all right from Russia. Welcome, 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 you guys. We won't worry about Meerkat. Meerkat's not staying up, so obviously they're having some challenges. Coming to you live from Houston, Texas, here at all right, Galveston in the house. Uh, from Starbucks here in the Galleria area of Houston, Texas. Just want to share with you some things, brother and sister. This is question and answer. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for sharing. All right. So we'll get rid of this peasy, whoever that is. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So question and answers, brother and sister. Please ask a question. Anything around real estate, network marketing, sales, networking, uh, um, you know, real estate, uh, personal finances, investments. Uh, I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. And if, if, if I don't know the answer, I'll be honest enough to tell you I don't know the answer. That's one thing I learned early in my sales career. Never uh, fluff it, never embellish. If you say you don't know, people will respect you more saying, you know what, I don't have the answer for that question. I'll get it for you and get back with you. And that has proved to be true in my career. Uh, that people that people um, would do that uh, would would you know would take that position okay all right so any questions any questions any questions but since you should always have questions because there's a lot that we don't know what are the benefits of having a self-directed IRA and how can you switch from an IRA to one well uh, you can only roll over your IRA if you've uh, left your company already all right. Say, for example, I worked at Starbucks and they have a 401k plan. I can't move it until I move. I can't move it until I leave. And then you can move it and roll it over to a self-directed uh, IRA. All right. Self-directed IRA. There's two types of self-directed IRAs. One where a, a brokerage firm like Fidelity or, or so I would have to quit my job first. Uh, yes, yeah, you can't move uh, your current 401. It has to stay uh, with your employer because it's an employer plan. And the only time you can move it is that you have to no longer work at the company. So two types of self-directed. One is one that a brokerage firm has, and there's one that a qualified uh, self-directed IRA has. All right, any advice for starting a small business with limited fund? Yes. Yes, limited funds uh, only means that you have to be more creative. Uh, you have to be uh, better at selling your idea to the right people. All right, so you want to network, you want to learn the uh, sales, you want to learn how to present. So if you go to DarylMuhammad.net, and that's where you can go and uh, hit find the book list, and you find some sales books there. Okay, and on that note, brothers and sisters, you can reach me at DarylMuhammad.net. I encourage you if you like the content of this message then uh, you want to go there because we're going to connect there and start doing some uh, some private uh, webinars, seminars, conference calls for those that want to uh, take this thing to the next level. Those of us who are not doing it just for self, we're not doing it just for our family, but we want to economically empower our community. It has to have that community piece, brothers and sisters. If not, there's so many other groups that you can be a part of uh, other than this. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? Oh, that's a good question. All right. I'm involved in the Black Lives Matter movement before there was a Black Lives Matter movement. I'm a member of the Nation of Islam under the leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who has over 30 years history in the black community, fighting for the liberation of black people. So it's not, it's not about what am I doing specifically for one group. It's what am I doing to help black people in America and around the world all right I love to hear that okay so so you just do what you have to do brother and sisters and then those of like minds will find you and you will find them that is the basis of marketing right marketing is putting yourself out there in the marketplace so that people with the like mind can can also find you who have the same mindset, right? And you know people who are with you by those who show up. Not talk up, not speak up, not holler and scream, but those who show up, all right? It's time to put up or shut up. We have a lot of talking heads, right, uh, in our community and in community at large, but you only find a few, you only find a few that put their, their, their money where their mouth is 
and back their words with action. Anything short of that, as the saying as the saying goes and the song goes, right? Talking loud and saying nothing. Talking loud and saying nothing. All right. And on that note, the language of America is not English. The second language is not Spanish. The language of America is money. Can you speak the money language? What is the best advice you would give to new business owners? Oh, new advice to business owners. A lot. Sales. If you hate sales, if you have a negative vibration towards sales, then that will directly impact your business and it will be the doom of your business. Right? We, you might have heard that they say that the number one reason why businesses fail, small businesses fail for the lack of capital, that's half the story. Right? The full story is, I'm a baker, I do a lot of custom work. In your opinion, do you think flea markets, craft shows? Well, if that works for you, uh, brother or sister, if that works for you, right? you have to go where the fish is. Right? If I'm fishing for tilapia, then I have to go where the tilapia swim, not where the catfish are. Are good ways to get my product out there. Oh, okay, yes, it is all about money. Here in America it is. Uh, you just got to get out there, brothers and sisters. You got to get out there. All right? You just have to get out there. You have to get out there and find out where your market is. Where does your market gravitate to? Right? You go to where your market is. Right? TV and radio and print. They print. Hey, hey, Russia. They print where their readers are. They print where their market is watching TV. They print where or they, they advertise where their market already is. So you have to find out who's your market and go to them, right? Go to them, and then they'll come to you. All right, well, congratulations, learning English, all right? You don't speak on license in the course, do I need? No, you don't need a license to wholesale. That's not required. I wouldn't waste my time. I'll spend that time perfecting wholesale, all right? Thank you, CEO Andre, all right? Valid, Balad, Balad, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, any other questions about money? Any other questions about money? Sales, brother and sister. If you have any negative feeling towards sales, then you need to focus on that primarily. So majority of, they say majority of business. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm spending 300 on marketing. Well, yeah, you have to, you have to know how to spend it. Then, then there's a part of marketing called copy, C-O-P-Y, copy. Those are the words that you use. Those are the words that you use to, uh, to, to hook the mind, right? To hook the mind. So just know that sales and marketing is a science. It is a science and you have to learn that science. It's not just placing an ad and, and, and not knowing what to say, all right? That's a waste of money. So what I would tell you to do, brother, go to my website, darylmohammed.net, and get one of the books, all right? What kind of course? Okay, I have a real estate course. I have a real estate course uh, teaching you how to wholesale property, no risk, no money. Uh, no job, go to the secrets to wholesaling.com. Somebody put that in there so he can see it. The secrets to wholesaling.com. The secrets to wholesaling. If a family has never purchased a home before, what would you suggest they do with their savings? Uh, I wouldn't purchase a home. All right, I'll look for ways to double that money. I'll look for ways to, to increase that money. All right, I'll look for ways to take that savings and double it. Thank you, Sister Candace. All right, I'll look for ways to double that money. All right, as Damon Dash calls it, learn how to flip, all right? All right, learn how to flip, learn how to flip. Take, Learn how to take $50 and make it $100. Well, the way you do it is uh, don't, be on my, don't be on my scope. That's how you get those, those women money or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, what other questions we have here, brothers and sisters? What other questions do we have here? Yeah, let's block these people. All right? Those of us, uh, Niambi, Sister Candace, those of us, those of you who, uh, who who know what we're about here, you see any of those, uh, those buster pop up, you can block them. I think you can block them. I think that just blocks them all on your end. But uh, but just block them. Just, just feel good knowing that they've been blocked, okay? Letting them know that we're not, they're not wanted here. All right, they're not one here. Do you think that some of the BM movement isolate white people? Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, Josh. In all honesty, you know, uh, 
go to NOI.org, watch interview the minister did, Minister Louis Farrakhan did. But I would say, you know, go to your people and help them to understand why they need to do their part. Would you say that investing in real estate is the quickest way to family? Yes, real estate is the quickest way. Real estate is the quickest way. With tough economy, how can you double double your money? I think, I'm sorry, brother, I couldn't. Well, you just have to look for ways to double your money. Easy way to double your money is, is to sell a product or service that has... Uh, you hungry? Yeah, you hungry, all right. Um, um, is to find a product with margins. Margins meaning the difference between the wholesale price or the price you're getting it and the price that you're selling it. The bigger the spread, the faster you can double your money. So find a product or service that has a markup, that has spread. All right, what's your predicting economy? I don't know. I don't predict economies. I predict that it's going to get worse for those that are not prepared, and it's going to get better for those who are prepared for the worst. That's my prediction. As Jim Rohn says, the one thing that I can predict is things are going to change. All right? So that's my prediction. Those that are not prepared, it's going, to be, it's going to get worse for them before it gets better. And those who are prepared for the worst, they would fare better than everybody else. I'm preparing for the worst, right? Preparing for the worst. Where are you from? I'm in Houston, Texas. Where are you from? Miss Dub Dubson. All right. Oh, there's a draw. Somebody block that fool. Somebody block that fool. <laughs> All right. You know, you, you know you're getting out there. You know you're doing a good job when you draw the attention of trolls, right? I tell my female friends, you know, who are attractive, and that can be in more ways than one, more than just physical beauty, but a honey, a honey draws more than just bees, right? The honey draw more than just bees. Honey draw flies, which are nasty and have no uh, eco value, I would say, to a, to a flower. So that's when you know you're making progress. That's when you know you're, you're out there when you get those trolls. But any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? All right? Uh-oh. Any questions? Any questions? All right, they don't have anything better to do. Poor people, they're gonna get, they're they're gonna lose in the battle between the have and the have-nots because they don't have anything better to do. Such a shame, 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 shame. They, they're already casualties of war. They're already casualties of war. How old are you? Um, I don't know, 51, if that matters. That I don't know what that has to do with money. Ask me questions as has as it has to do with the money game that can better your financial position for you and your family in our community all right all right well ask the questions and then we can ignore the haters all right so we ha we have to outwork the haters right we have to outpost the haters does your website give financial tips advice information yeah go to darylmohammed.com i put on put up some of our previous periscopes that can can help you out what do you suggest a person do with their tax returns to invest my name hey alexander I like Obama. Yeah, personally, I like Obama. Yes, presently, as a president, probably not. If I have one million dollars under the double, okay, uh, brother. I don't know if you got a million dollars. Go out there and find out ways of doubling it. I mean, it depends on how fast you need to double it. All right, depends on how fast you need to double it. All right, depends on how fast you need to double it. All right. Um, I forgot to question Sister Candace. Okay, these political questions. I don't know what's the deal. <laughs> Do you like Ukraine? I don't know. I'm going to block you, uh, Mrs. Dublin, because that has nothing to do with money. Nothing to do with money at all. All right? So that's what we're going to do with those folks. Do you, uh, What do you think about the Powerball? Um, I think it's a waste of money. I think it's for people who don't believe in themselves, and they rather they have they believe... Uh, they believe in, in the chances of, of winning more than themselves. What suggests a person do with a tax return? That's right. Uh, well, you should always invest in yourself, right? Always sub should, should vet, invest in yourself. And um, that's going to help you get to the next level. That's going to help you get to where you want to go faster. All right? That may not be a business. That may be, you know, uh, something else. I don't know. You know, look, I guess trolls uh, share so their other troll friends can <laughs> can get on. So they, they, I guess, you know, they team up. I don't know. Anyway, like like cowards, they team up. 
But anyway, so uh, that's what you do, sister. I don't know specifically have a business or marketing. Should I invest in marketing? Should I invest in real estate? Yes, 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 you should invest in, in what you need to do to get to the next level. The next level. Not five levels up. The next level, right? If you don't know anything about money, then why invest money in, you know, how to buy office strips, office buildings, right? Commercial retail strips when, you know, we don't have a basic understanding about money, about real estate. That's not a good investment of your time. So it's the next step. Investing in what's required to go to the next level, the next step. And it all starts with you, right? It all starts with you understanding what it is that you need to do, what it is that you need to have, right? And do that. Is it better to have good credit before you start your own business? No. You don't need good credit, so the Candace. Credit is not an issue. Credit is only an issue if you're going to stand in line at the bank and do what everybody else who doesn't know what else to do to get money. Then, yes, you will need good credit. But if you, if you think, if you take on the mindset of the entrepreneur, then you don't need money. Let me just tell you what I've learned from these no money down real estate courses, right? It's not so much specifically real estate, right? Excuse me. It's not so much specifically real estate that no money down applies to. It's the creative. It, it, it's, it's, it's having the creative ability to, to sell an idea and not need money to do it. That's what that's about. So once you understand the concept and stop, you know, being so microscopic in real estate and this, that, and the other, but you understand it's a concept, it's a broad concept, then you can just apply it to different things. People out here buying businesses with no money. No money just means, or no credit, just means that it's not your credit if it requires credit. It just means it's not your money if it requires money but that that's going to require you to be a good salesperson a good salesperson i've truly enjoyed your thing okay well good we'll come back every uh, every day monday through friday 11 o'clock central standard time go to darylmohammed.net you'll get all some more details there what you think about people starting their own clothing brand that's good yeah yeah it doesn't matter what you start just make sure it's relevant you know make sure it's 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 an item product or service that people are buying on a regular basis so that's good but you still have to learn sales and marketing there's a million people starting a million companies but very 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 few of them understand sales and marketing they have too much of a consumer mentality your success my success as an entrepreneur as business people as people trying to win at the money game is going to depend on our mentality good forms of passive income real estate network marketing okay it's going to depend on our mentality and not being dominated our minds being dominated with a consumer mentality I hate selling I can't sell there's that's that's a scam this is a scam that's a scam they just trying to sell me something I would go to that real estate program but watch they go, I told you they were gonna try to say something I told you I told you yeah, until you change your mind, that mind, brothers and sisters, you're just wasting your time and you're wasting your money in business and entrepreneurship. Love sales. Just just convince yourself. Advice on scaling a service business. Scaling it by 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 uh, leveraging time and resources and talents. Meaning, get other people to do the work. A lot of never marketing are scams. Yeah, well, of course there are. There's scams. There's colleges that are scams, right? There's restaurants that are scams, right? There's people that are scams, right? Everything where you find people, you find scams. If that's the case. You, I mean, it wouldn't much you can do, especially in America, if you're gonna let the scammers stop you. Just make sure you're not a scammer. You add credibility and legitimacy and authenticness to the industry, right? Let you be the one that's cleaning it up and making it what it should be. That should be our focus. That should be our desire. That's which which we should be we should be representing, right? You focus on what you want, not what you don't want. You focus on what you want to become, not what you don't want to become. What do you do for a living? I work on my financial freedom. What do you do for a living? I'm an entrepreneur, real estate investor. I'm in a lot of things, brother. I'm a serial entrepreneur, right? It's not about me. It's about you. I come here to share with you. I know what I know. I do what I do. 
I come here to answer your questions about what you need, not what about what I do. Can you explain how business owners get more tax turns than someone who, oh yeah, oh my goodness, Sister Candace, that's a good one. We'll cover that. Go to DarylMohammed.net and, and we're going to cover that uh, here in the next couple of weeks in a private uh, uh, a webinar or conference call. The tax laws are written for business owners and real estate and real estate owners, land owners. If you're not in business and you don't own real estate, the tax law is not your friend. The tax law is your enemy. Do you need to be a lawyer? No. You don't need to be a lawyer. I saw a post on Facebook today. It was a quote. Looks like that 50 Cent says. 50 Cent, the quote was, I didn't go to Harvard, but I hired people who do. I hired people to do. Go get a life, king. You shouldn't be using that name king because you're far from a king using that kind of language. Kings don't use peasant language. If I apply for an LLC and just sit on it for a year, get no know how my personal income changed. I'm not understanding that question. You need to always be actively engaged in business, right? You should always be actively engaged in business and something that can be traceable and that you can track, right? That you, That's traceable and you can track. The biggest problem uh, that people get into with the IRS is their information is not trackable. You'll never win when it's your word against the IRS, so don't play that game. Because you might as well just, you know, get ready for whatever they have for you, right? You have to learn the game, brother. So that's what I'm trying to share with you. Just, just, just prick your conscience, see? Because once your conscience is pricked, then you'll go out there and find stuff. Entrepreneur does not look for someone to give them everything, right? An entrepreneur only looks for someone. Oh yeah, that's good. You should hate, hate niggas, right? I hate niggas too, but um. But yeah, you should you should uh, go out there and find what you need. Entrepreneurs don't look for people to hold their hand. That that is counterproductive. That's an employee mentality. Quick to go ask somebody for help, right? An entrepreneur only asks you, please point me in the direction. They don't ask for a map. Now, if you give me a map, I'm gonna take it. But if all you can do is point me in the right direction, right? Then I would go. That's I'll figure out the rest as I go. That's the mindset of an entrepreneur. Anything other than that, brothers and sisters, then we need to uh, 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 reprogram our brains. That's an employee's mentality, right? An employee's mentality. An entrepreneur says, hey, man, I'll figure it out. I'm smart enough. I'm not dumb, right? I'm not mentally challenged. I can figure this thing out. Now, don't ignore help when it comes, but don't spend too much time like an employee looking for somebody to help you, right? Looking for somebody to help. Do you have some tips for a future entrepreneur? Yes. Jan Janice, 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 yes, absolutely, right? Acquire the mindset of an entrepreneur, not the skill set of an entrepreneur, a mindset of an entrepreneur. Go to DarylMohammed.net, hit book list or reading list, right, and grab Think and Grow Rich. Would you advise someone to focus on one business only? No, uh, as it, let me see, if they have additional, no, focus, 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 one business at a time. That's the myth of, of multiple streams of income, right? Multiple streams of income. The myth of multiple streams of income is that you, you, you have a whole bunch of businesses operating at one time, right? And, and you try to set that up as quickly as you can, right? That, that's, that's the myth. The myth is set them up as quickly as you can, as many businesses as you can. That's not what you want to do. You want to get you what they call a cash cow first. Does it take going to college to be? Of course not. No, absolutely not. Right? Michael Dell of Dell Computers dropped out of school. Not Warren Buffett. Bill Gates dropped out of Harvard. Right? So if one business expands, the idea for that business, right? Yeah, you would do it if it expands, if it, if it complements, right? But it should be what they call an organic growth. It should be an organic growth. So the, the main business feeds into another complementary business. Where have you acquired your business? Experience, experience, brother, reading books, and just getting out here, Jonas, and making it happen, right? Making it happen. See, what happens is when you try, see, it's part of that multitasking thing. See, I'll tell you about that. Multitasking is for the, the rank and file people. It's not for the, the, the executives at the top. They don't multitask. They focus on one thing, master that, 
let that become what we call the cash cow that produces and kicks off enough cash to now invest that into another business. But the myth of it is get multiple streams of income as fast as you can and none of them are cash cows. So that means something outside of those multiple businesses is funding those other businesses and depleting and depleting your um I don't know what that is and depleting uh your your, your resource that you have. You don't go into business to do put to deplete resources. Right? You go into business to expand. Right? To to grow. Grow your asset, grow your wealth, grow your income, grow your reach, grow your community involvement. That's what you do when you go in business. So that should be the reason why you go in business. All right? Let's go ahead and share, brothers and sisters. We're talking about hashtag black wealth, hashtag black dollars, hashtag black money, hashtag black economy. Hey, Baltimore. All right, share, share, share. Let's see if we get some folks to share. Can y'all share for me real quick? We got about another five minutes. Five minutes. Share, 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 share. And you want to go back into and watch the replay. You want thank you very much, Lady Traveler. You want to go in the replay and watch that as well. Okay? Go in the replay and watch it and share it. Share it, brother. Just share it. I can rest assure you nobody is bringing you a message like this. All right? Thank you very much, Candace and Niambe. A message like this. I'm sure there are some, but not enough. That's why I wanted to throw my hat in the ring, right? Because when you when you realize how fortunate and blessed you are, then you then then you should want to share it. You should want to share. Okay, any other questions as we count down for the last three minutes? Any other questions? 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 Sister Candace, all right. Thank you very much for your questions. Jonas, thank you for your questions. Any other questions? Everything about my soul. That one idea you have taken and expand on it. Yeah. Because see, what it's really about is not about the business. Is about what you become in the process. Because no matter what business you go into, brothers and sisters, you always bring yourself. The best and the worst of yourself. So if you and I never learn the skill sets of success in business, in entrepreneurship, it doesn't matter what business you go into. It, it, that's irrelevant. You can only be as successful as your good habits. So develop the good habits where you are. And then you'll find you'll be successful no matter where you go. That's the key, see? That's what we miss out. Right? We get we get we get hoodwinked and blindsided by the, the greatest and shiniest object. Ooh, what? That network marketing pays more? Should you negotiate on a deal if the owner is asking retail for the property? No. I would say no. You know, there's always exceptions to the rule. But I say no. Don't waste your time, sister Niambi. Too many properties out there that people they 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 need you to take it off their hands. It's more of a problem than what it's worth. Right? Now, with my experience as a real estate entrepreneur, you, there's there's a formula say price or term. Price or term. If you want your price, then it's based on my terms. Yeah, I pay full price for it, no money down. You carry the financing. You can follow me, please. Okay, I got you. All right, good. We'll follow you. Okay? So, so yeah. So, for an experienced investor, right, that may be a possibility. But with, with, it's with the understanding of the formula that you trade price for terms. Price for terms. If they want both price and terms, then no. They, they you know, let them find somebody that, that you know, got the money need the tax write-offs that real estate provide, they're not concerned about cash flow. Robert Kiyosaki said the most important word to an entrepreneur is cash flow. Cash flow. How do I get started? By getting started. How do you get started? By finding information in that area of ec that area that you want to get started in and, and taking, um, taking action, massive action. Don't worry about the naysayers like these people right here. That they're they're this they're they're um they're miserable. <laughs> you know that's so sad. God allowed them to be birthed into the world, and that's the best they can do. <laughs> 
So, any other questions, brothers and sisters, about uh, the money game? About the money game. Any other questions? Any other questions about the money game? Because you got to learn how to play it. Right? You got to learn how to play it. You got to learn how to play it. Right? You know, the trolls should just have their own scope and just hate on each other. <laughs> how to generate capital? Oh, uh, there's a lot of ways to generate capital. You can partner with people. You can borrow capital. You can use your own capital. You can create products or services that create capital. Right? That create capital. Hey, 21 year old student, now's the time. Get started right now. Get started right now. We should start a scope just for trolls <laughs> and go back and forth and call each other names. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. That's a shame. But anyway, any other questions, brothers and sisters? Questions, questions, questions about the money game. I tell you, I'm just so excited. See, when my mind was pricked with this money consciousness, you know, in a very healthy way, then, 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 you know, man, what, I mean, what else people talking about? That's why I want to put together a small group of individuals who understand that we got to free our community. We got to free our community from this economic slavery that we're in. And understand that it's not about money. Our enemy gives us money, but he won't give us autonomy. Economic autonomy. Somebody put that in the feed there, because I don't know how to spell autonomy. Economic autonomy. They'll give you money loans that's coming from them, right? And you got to come to them to get it. But once we learn to roll up our sleeves and go to work, right? And work hard. Because the easy way, thank you very much. Easy way ain't the best way. It's for, easy is for lazy people. And you give up your freedom. Thank you, Sister Niambi. You give up your freedom. And, and the other one that put it up there. You give up your freedom, the lazier you are. The lazier we are as a people. Trade off lazy with freedom. Lazy with freedom. 20% lazy, 80% free. 20% free, 80% lazy. That's our problem. We don't want to work hard to get free. So therefore, we, 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 we delusion ourselves to believe that we're freer than we, we are. Because we don't want to work. I mean, hey, I, I'm like you. I don't. If I don't have to do it, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so I understand all these theoretical... Good, we're well, good. Well, apply them. Right? You learn concepts in school, and then you apply them. Well, good. Go be the example. Stokely Cormichael say, be the change. I think he said it. Be the change that you're looking for, right? Be the change that you're looking for. Now, let me say it on this note, brother. Says I used to be like this. Yeah, I'm 51 years old. It took me a long time to mature. Right? The Quran says that man starts maturing or becomes mature at age 40. Right? And some of us longer than that. But here's what I've learned. So I won't be so critical. Because when, you, when you're immature and young, you're very critical. Right? But here's what I've learned. Some people are only here to inspire. They're not here to go out and do and then some people are here to do and not go out and inspire. Just let those do what God has inspired them to do. Some A teacher, you know, if I'm in college, right? Hey, the art of reality. If I'm in college, thank you for sharing. If I'm in college and there's a teacher in front of me teaching business, and I'm looking at this teacher thinking, I wonder if he in business. I wonder if he got a business. He don't have no business. Oh, what the hell he talking about? He can't tell me nothing. How he gonna try to go up there and teach business and he not in business? He don't own a business. You own a business, sir? Ma'am? Oh, well, shit. What, excuse me. What are you talking about? That's so, you, so we lose all the value that they have. They just might just be, God might just inspire them to be a teacher and, and be the best teacher that they can be. That got to be worth something. A master teacher? Got to be worth something. But if we have that kind of immaturity in our understanding, then we'll look at a master teacher and make it an average, subpar teacher. All right? Study, study. I've learned this. One of my mentors says, years ago I learned, if you want to make a living, get a formal education. All right, Jonas, if you want to make a living, just barely survive, make enough to have some creature comforts on credit, then go to institution of learning 
and get a formal education. But if you want to make a fortune, you get informal education. That's education that's not found in a controlled institution by the state. Like at 12.30 today, I'm going to another real estate seminar. All right, a real estate seminar. See, you can't learn real estate investing from your local community college. What, what degree do I have? I have a degree in, uh, tell him what degree you have right there. Okay, I have a degree in marketing from Texas Southern University, 1990. Okay, take notes, bruh. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you what, what, what you're not going to learn at a university. There's universities all across America, right? And there's millions of universities on the internet, right? But informal education, thank you, that's good, right? Informal education, all right, will make you a fortune. So you just decide on what side of the track you want to live on, as we say in our community, right? What side of the track you want to live on? I want to live on the side of the track of informal education so I can have a chance at making a fortune. Why not both? Well, get both. See, here's the thing, Jonas. Get what you need. Don't get what you don't need. That's a waste. Understand that a school... See, here's the thing. Let me just... I'm glad you brought that up, Jonas, real quick because we went over, but question and answer. Maybe we'll run this an hour as long as there's people asking questions, okay? Here, here, here's, yeah, I have both, but here's the thing, Jonas. See, the thing about education is this, and my mom is an educator, so, so, so it's not, I'm not hating on education. Bill Gates and Michael Dell and so many others who dropped out of college, dropped out of college and became billionaires. Oh, what about Zuckerberg? I think he dropped out of Harvard, too. And these ain't community college. He's Harvard. Bill Gates dropped out of, out of Harvard. <laughs> how he drop out of Harvard? But anyway, so here's the thing we have to understand about education. As long as you know how to read, write, and count, and count, then that's all the education you really need in truth, brothers and sisters. In truth, that's all you really need. Anything beyond that is so you can get a job and work for other people. As long as you can read, write, and, and, and count, that's all you need to get rich. So why spend all that other time doing something that you're not trying to qualify for? If you're going to be an entrepreneur, then those four years of college, five years for many, six years for most, that's a waste of time. Critical thinking, problem solving as well, absolutely. Knowing how to think as Wallace Waddle says, right? No, no, no. Uh, Earl Nightingale in the in the seat. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, Earl Nightingale in the... Uh, forgot that audio. But anyway, yeah. People don't think, right? People don't think. So I'm not against it if you're going to be a, a career employee, right? Go get a job. I mean, go get a formal education to where they're training you to get a job. Go ahead if you're going to be a career employee. But if you're not going to get a career employee, be a career employee, then focus on informal education. Thanks, Jonas. Thanks for that question. All right, so what else we got? What else we got? That's it? No more questions? No more questions? Hopefully by this weekend I would have posted some more. You're welcome. Uh, I would have posted some more, um, some more uh, of these periscopes on my blog. What's informal education? Informal education is education that you don't get from a, a, a institution of learning. How do you start a business? How do you start a business? Well, you find out what business you, you want to start and go, go learn how to get it started. College is a waste of time for some 60 credits in general. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, uh, uh, art of reality. Right? It's, it's, you got to understand. All right? You have to understand who financed and who funds a lot of these, comp these, these colleges. They're corporations. They're corporations. Cell, Shell and Exxon and, you know, all these other corporations. I don't even know them. 
right? They fund colleges. So they're not going to fund colleges so you can learn how to become an entrepreneur, right? And crowd the market. Who does that? Who does that? See, we as black people, we, we got to stop being so, I don't even know what you call it. You just paying overpaid college teachers. Yeah, I don't know if the teachers are overpaid or not, but I know college is big business. That's why everybody has an online course. What about publishing companies selling textbooks? Yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. I don't know how that works. You know, colleges have to get approved books to sell, you know, approved books for their classes, right? And now you get into politics, which I like to stay away from. I want to buy politicians. I don't want to be uh, victimized by politicians. See, real players, real players, real players, brothers and sisters, they, they own politicians. They buy politicians. They buy politicians. That's the level I pray to God that he'll bless me to be at. If you're going to play this thing, play it really. Really, really play it. Really, really play it. Then let's get out here and learn how to play the games. Learn how to play the game. They're corrupt because corrupted money has bought them. They won't be corrupt if, if those of us who are not corrupt go out here and make this money make hundreds of millions of dollars and play the game for real and then give them money from a non-corrupt contributor then they won't be corrupt a lot of them start off like Obama meaning well but not knowing what he's getting himself into and just like with the devil right just like with the devil you uh you never know until you start dancing with them. So how you want to make a hundred million dollars? Well, you you got to answer that question for yourself. How are you going to make a hundred million dollars? Can't I can't tell somebody how they're going to make some money. They have to fig figure that out for themselves. See, I said it earlier. Entrepreneurs figure things out for themselves, right? They figure it out for themselves. Give me a money, all right? They figure it out for themselves. They understand it's 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 them. They understand that I got to figure out how is it going to work for me. There's no one way for everybody. You know, you might lose all your money in real estate, but then you're very successful as a, in a, as, as a run, restaurant owner. You might lose all your money, right? Trying different network marketing opportunities, but then you'll be successful somewhere else let me let me just let me get rid of some of these people here we're here to talk about money we're here to talk about black economics black dollars right black money matters right and that's what we're here to talk about anybody else that's not here to talk about that then there's so many so many other scopes out there <laughs> that you can find that's going to talk about what you want to talk about i'm not here to talk about obama i'm not here to talk about russia Right? You stay on your programs somewhere else where they're talking about your program because we're going to stay on our program. Because business is warfare. Right? Business is warfare. When you heat a battle, ain't nobody smiling. When you heat a battle, ain't nobody cracking jokes. You know what they do with distractors in battle? You know what they do with haters in battle? See? So, business is warfare, brothers and sisters. Right? So, as long as we want to play it small, it, it don't matter. Right? So, anyway, questions, 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 questions. We got about another five minutes left. So, if a person is not black, you're not talking to them. So, when a, well, well, you're here. Jonas looks like he wasn't black. You just take the information and use it. That's what you do. What about black folks venturing the oil and gas? Yeah, that's fine. Oil and gas is okay, I'm sure. Right? I'm sure that's okay. I don't know. I don't know why people are so sensitive. The Asians can have their own stuff. Hispanics can speak their own language, have their own TV program. Black folks try to speak the language that we know how specifically to us. And 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 people I want to wonder about, you know, truth is is universal. Truth works for everybody. 
That's that you shouldn't even worry about that. If you here and you stay in here long enough and you find a value, just take it and use it. Right? Just take it and use it. It won't not work for you. Cause I hashtag black wealth, hashtag black dollars, hashtag black economy. If it's so, if it's, it's a, if it's valuable and useful, you go and use it for the benefit of yourself, your family, and your community. Right? It's not gonna not work. Cause I hashtag it black, and you're white. That's very immature. Right? Just go out and use it. And may the best man win. All right, any other questions? Any other questions? Questions, questions, questions. Questions, 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 right? See, we see when black folks are unapologetically black, then people get, un they get uneasy. They get antsy. They well, what about me? What about me? What about you? Ain't nobody thinking about us. But now I'm supposed to think about somebody else, right? I'm supposed to be sensitive towards somebody else, but ain't nobody sensitive towards us. I'm not sensitive. Right? I'm saying. I'm just saying. Whoever. You got white friends or whatever. Whatever. It's the sensitivity. There's a whole lot of black people with white minds. So I'm just responding to the question, not the person. Right? Don't take it personally. I'm responding to the question. The book says, hurdle truth at falsehood until you knock its brains out. Right? So don't take it personally. Don't don't misconstrue my passion. Right? It's not personal. I even know you to, to take it personally. But you put it out there, and I chose to deal with it. Right? Advice on staying in a job and building a company versus being an entrepreneur. Here's what you do. You have a job, learn as much as you can about how that job is ran. Right? Learn as much as you can about how that job is ran. Be good as be as good as you can at that job so whereas you're a value to the company. And then take that understanding and apply it to entrepreneurship. You're already in a business. You're in entrepreneurship. You're just not the owner or the principal, but you're where you need to be to learn and observe. See, as you start reading these kind of books and your mind starts shaping. You'll start seeing things that's been around you all along that can help you understand and help you get a clearer understanding on how things are ran. Right? From the top down, not from the bottom up. From the top down, not from the bottom up. Okay? All right? Good question. Anybody else? Anybody else? Well, you guys must like questions and answers because we're uh, 40 minutes in. Oh, I'm supposed to be somewhere. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. I just remember I'm five minutes late. Let me text a person, let them know I'm down the street. All right, brothers and sisters, as always, we'll see you at the top, not from the top, because you, your family, but most importantly, our community, our black community, needs your very best. See you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Go to DarylMohammed.net if you like what you've heard and you want to be a part of making things happen. All right, see you tomorrow. God bless.